Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for dropping in. My name's Dylan and today we're going to talk about how to love your job and still make time for what you like outside of work. No! No! Stop! Stop eating my wires! Literally nibbles. Nibbles on my cables. He can't be trusted. Today we're gonna to talk about how to have a full-time job and still make time for what you love to do on the side. So, I'm actually not doing so hot. Um, have a sign, oh, here he comes again. You wanna come on the chair? Come on. Yeah? Sure. Knock everything over. I love cats. So I'm actually not doing too hot. I'm gonna... Really not doing too hot. I'm gonna take a couple of these. So that I don't go unconscious from the pain. Oh, these are old. They have like that old aspirin coating taste. Oh. I'm a wimp, I do one at a time. I don't know if doing two at a time is a cool thing or a normal thing. But I do one at a time. I'm actually just not even good at taking pills. I'm only getting I'm only good at getting frustrated with Jerry. He like really enjoys the videos. He's a he's probably my biggest fan to be completely honest with you. And so he's just like he like nestles himself over here and just sits and watches when I make videos. So he's never on screen usually. There was one episode where he crawled on my lap, but usually he's off to the side. All right, anyway, I've digressed way too much. We're gonna jump right in. So let's talk about some tips that will help you be passionate about what you love outside of work and still make time for it. So well, first thing, and this is something that happens a lot with people, if you have a really long commute from work, don't use the commute as an excuse and say, you know what, because I have a long commute when I get home, I'm just not gonna focus on the stuff I wanna do. I'm gonna just completely you know, rest and take it easy. And also don't say that the commute is your rest because let me tell you something, you need to be focused when you're driving, no distractions. I don't care if you listen to a podcast, if you listen to music, whatever you do while you're on your commute, it's not the same as taking time for yourself when you get home and relaxing. Something that is incredibly important, especially if you have a job where you're on the computer all day, when you come home, it's really tough to have the energy to do this, but I for one cannot exercise in the morning. The tip is to exercise when you get home. Not only is exercising amazing for your body and for your mind, if you can do it even for just 20, 30 minutes when you get home from work, before you eat, do it. It'll boost your focus levels, boost your energy. You'll feel so much better, especially if you're going from working on a computer all day to having to work on a computer at home. So don't use the commute as an excuse, and when you get home, try to do a little bit of exercise. It'll really help set the tone for the rest of the night. And then schedule, make plans. Use 10, 15 minutes on your lunch break to have a planner, go into it, and actually mark out when you're gonna be doing what that night. And that way it can help keep you on track. You'll have a schedule, so you have something to stick to to hold you accountable. You can also tell a couple of friends what you're working on, which will also help you stay accountable. That's honestly one of the huge things that's been helping me with this channel. Being able to post twice a week is incredible. I love having the opportunity to do that. Wish I could post more, but that's about my limit with working a full-time job and you know trying to juggle all of these other things um, that I'm doing on the side, which I don't talk about much, but um, maybe I will soon. Um, two is plenty, it's almost too much, and um, just, thankful that I can do it and I'm thankful that I have supportive friends that help get me through it so um, telling friends can help you hold hold yourself accountable and that's really big when working on stuff um, so yeah um, I have a sinus infection I'm not doing so hot 
um, missed some work this week and was really just like pushing off the video because I didn't think I was going to feel up to making it and I certainly wanted to wait until, you know, as long as I could so that way I was better in the video. That didn't happen. I still feel like crap, but I'm here. You also don't have to come straight home and exercise. That might be pretty demanding considering if you have to drive a really long way, you're probably exhausted. And if you don't want to jump right into it, doing it at some point in the night, I would suggest earlier rather than later. Depends on when you eat. Um, but try meditation for 10, 15 minutes. Just decompress, evaluate the day, and refocus on what you need to do. That can help a ton and help you put things in perspective with what you need to get done that night and how to budget your time and kind of just eliminate the stress of the day. It can be a great way to just wipe that away, put it in the past, and then focus on the present and what you need to get done at home. Um, the other thing, exercise is great. If you can exercise somewhere else, not at home, uh, it will help because it'll break up the amount of time you're spending and in one place. Um, it can be really tough when you go from wherever your workout equipment is to your computer. For some people, if it's just like a mat and some weights, they might work out in their room and then their computer's in their room. I go in the basement, work out, and then come upstairs. And so even that, for me, helps break it up a little bit, but still, Try to get in a different environment. It'll help you think better when you're in your home environment, in work mode, on your computer. So just some quick things, you know, don't use the commute as an excuse to not get things done, but at the same time, don't say that the commute is your rest because believe me, it is not a rest. No matter what it is you're doing, you're still focusing and you're still actively thinking because people don't really drive very well. Hope those tips were helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I'm super sorry about, you know, the energy level here, I'm kind of just, barely getting by. Uh, it's been a rough week, so happy to still make this video for you though. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post every Saturday and every Wednesday, so be sure to look out for new uploads. I'm going to be talking about what life is like after college for a few weeks. Hope to see you in the next video.